Okay, peeps, so you'll probably hear Brooklyn, as usual, in the background. So, sorry about the noise <laughs> outside. My window's open, and I'm right by the window. So, um, this little setup is new to you guys since my last room tour. But this is where all my um, magazine art journal stuff is now. Um, so, I was asked about various things about my magazine collages and magazine makeovers so I'm gonna record little sections and talk about each thing and then either I'm gonna put it all together for one video or maybe break it down to two depending on how long it is so the first thing I wanted to talk about was how I organize my images so that's what we're gonna do right now so first these here one two, three, are all magazine journals. This one was going to be a glue book, but I just decided the glue booking is not for me. <laughs> you know, you know the collage type glue book, I just, my brain just doesn't work that way. So anyway, um, these are how I keep the images when I, um, this is how I keep the images when I pull them from magazines. So in here, um, these are words that these came from the mixed media paper pad from um, Michaels back in the day and I, just, I don't really use words anymore because I, I usually write things but you never know I may use them sometime or maybe even in my personal journal so I just keep them in there and then there's just some you know let me just put this down here there's like some clock faces and these little things from various magazines and um, jewelry that type of thing in here and then these are just older butterflies that I've had and then these are bigger images that I don't know what to do with because I have no place to put them so these are bigger various things <laughs> lampshades um, a shoe. I know. I don't know when or if I will ever use these things. <clears throat> don't ask me why I pulled this out, but I think it could be used for something. I don't know. He's cute, so I, I pulled it. Um, I got a sneaker here. This reminds me of Elizabeth. I should send that to you. <laughs> Always looking for sneakers. Um, I probably got a few of them in here. This big. Sorry about the airplane. Big flower. I figure out somehow cover this up or paint it or something and use that so I have larger words that don't fit in that little container so you get the idea bigger 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 words bigger images I have this huge ring in here <laughs> so I think you get the idea of that all right so let's put that back in here and then these are focal points so you're usually people so I have um, various magazine images in here maybe something will spark and I'll actually make a page today because I don't know I've been looking through at my magazines and haven't found anything that sparks um, some creativity or anything so I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I've used her already before. So yeah. So these are usually, like I said, they're usually people. Um, and so, yeah. So you get the idea of those. Alright. So those are people. And then these are backgrounds. So they're usually some type of floral or like that scenery um, uh, this don't really know why I put that in there I know I will use this somewhere but not sure why I put that in there this I, I don't know I think I could do something with that so I put it in there I love this background not so much her no offense to her but I love the background that's so cool. I just haven't found the right image. And I don't know. I figure I maybe can collage something on there. I don't know. 
um, really like those balloons. I think I could put do something with those balloons somehow. So a lot of these are like stuff like this. Um, I really love like gardens. Like this is just water. I love that. As you can see. So I'm um, not sure why I have her in there. Or him. I probably was thinking I can put something over him or cut him out or something. See buildings. Um, so this I just love the background of. I would cover him and put something there. So yeah. So I think you get the point for for those. All right. So let me put my lovely piece of artwork from my friend Cass. Don't you love that? I love that so much. I have to find a proper frame that is is kind of washi taped on that frame, but it doesn't fit inside. So anyway. All right. So these are my new dilution. Well, this one is my new Dilutions journal, and this is the new journal that I bought from Michaels. And this is the one that I use for my, um, you know, the <laughs> the pages that I do like a, let's see. These are, see, when I started this, I was trying to do like some type of art journaling, but didn't really work out too well. It's not my thing like these when I use like sprays and stuff. So that's what these are. In here, as you see, I was cutting this out, which is why I wanted the new one. And you guys have seen this one on my Instagram. <laughs> it's the first time I've done something like this um, from taking Elisa Burke's class. And I don't, I'm not really good at um, paint brush, a paint brush, because I don't feel like I have a steady hand. Um, but I don't know. I posted it in the group. People seem to like it. I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, and you've seen this page, so you get that guy. Yeah, you get the idea. Like this journal and the new dilutions is one I will use. Like it'll be like my messy <laughs> with sprays and stencils and all that kind of stuff in there. So I have these. Um. I just bought these from Dollar Tree not too long ago to put these in. And then this one has magazines I just got in the mail, which I was trying to do a harvest video for you, but I didn't find anything. So I'm trying to wait until I get some new magazines in the mail so I can show you how I um, pull pages, why I pull it. Um, I'll talk about all that later. And then... Um, wants to fall and then when you guys see me work on them this is usually what I bring to the table instead of bringing like that whole drawer so these are like flowers and butterflies that I have cut already so I usually go through here and pull from there all right and then these are my little washcloths that you guys see these are baby washcloths I got that tip from Diane Fago. She is the one who I learned so much from in the beginning. Still learning from her. Well, she doesn't really do them much anymore. But, um, yeah, she used to use those um, to clean up, you know, the glue and make sure everything is nice and clean. And then these are just some magazines that um, I haven't... I don't know what I'm doing with these. I pulled something out from here. Just some, oh, well, these are for like my regular journal. I think some of the, oh no. Oh, these are things that I haven't sorted yet. I pulled, I think I've cut some of the things out. Or well, this is my excess. I'm not even sure. <laughs> I don't even remember. I think that's what that is. I think one day I was probably on the couch and just pulling stuff. So. I think that's what that is. I'm not even sure. All right. So let's move here. And then this is an iris container from Michaels. And these are my really, really big <laughs> magazine pages that won't fit in those drawers. So these are from W Magazine. And these are huge, as you can see. They're in a 12 by 12 thing. So... Um, these, ooh, that's sparking something right now. 
I haven't looked through this one in a long time. Maybe I should. Yeah. So see. Maybe I'll I'll talk about why I pull some of these images. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, maybe I'll do something like that, and then I can talk you into why I pulled certain things. So we talked about my storage, um, the journals that I use. So I know a lot of people wanted to know about this journal. This is this is basically what this is. It's a sketchbook. Um, that's the same. I mean, this one. I think, oh no, that's about the same size. I think as my phone's Papa Bestie. Yeah, I think they're the same size. But this one I got on clearance a long time ago, and it was going to be so many different things. <laughs> but um, it's just a regular sketchbook. The paperweight, let me see, is not very thick. So um, I think I started gluing the pages together. Um, at one point, I don't even know if I still glue the pages together or not. I don't even know, you guys, to be honest. I think I just put them on any kind of way. <laughs> I don't think I'll glue the pages anymore because they don't look like they've been glued. Um, see, some of these I don't do on camera and I just do them like off camera and I upload them, the pictures, to Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably see a lot more of these um, these things in um, on Instagram. So, um, yeah, so that's what this is. It's just a regular sketchbook. You don't need anything fancy. This was, this one was on clearance, but this was, um, I think it was originally $6.99, but I got it, uh, I think 30% off. So it was really cheap, you guys. So it's just regular paper. I wanted to try a spiral. Um, it's, you know, it's pretty thin. It's not as thin as like copy paper, a little bit thicker, um, so I don't think I would, since I'm not putting any type of medium on it, I don't think I would um, glue them together. So that's that. And then you guys know what the Dilutions journal look like. So that is that. So hold on. I'm going to go sit down. Okay. So let's talk tools that I use. So um was asked about the type of pens. So I'm going to show you the glue sticks that I use. Um, this one is like my new favorite, the Avery. Um, I originally found it at Dollar Tree. Um, and then I found a pack of sticks on um, Amazon cheaper than on Dollar Tree, at Dollar Tree. Because these were dollar, obviously, at Dollar Tree. And the pack that I found of six was a little bit less than $6. It was like $5.90 something. So, really good. But this one basic brand works pretty good too so I have a few of these in my stash as well um, so you guys know that I started out with just a black and a white Posca pen that's what I used to always do my journals with um, I have not branched out I don't think have I I don't think so I can't remember I don't know if I did a page with color ones yet but these um, and then these are my fine liners. Sometimes I use these for quotes. Um, and then you you have seen me use the um, Stabilo charcoal pencil to outline and get that, I don't know what you call it, shadowy type image. I don't know. I use it to because I want it to pop off a page. So I use, that's what I use this for um, with my water brush, which is my Tim Holtz water brush. This is my old one as you can see and this one I recently purchased at Michael's so now I have two because at one time I thought I lost it and I almost had a heart attack. I have the Jane Davenport. I can't even figure out how to fill it with water you guys. <laughs> so, I'm not a big fan so the fine liners I use mostly the Micron and I have them in various sizes so I have them in 005, 003, this is one. Oh, that's three too. So I have some. Um, this one is eight, zero eight. I think I have one, two. Oh, two. I have two. 
and I think one. Yeah, and one. So I have them in various sizes. Um, and I usually use those. I have some um, Faber Castell pit pens. Um, these I've had a while, so they have been um, not working well because I've used them to death. So I have the medium and the fine point. I think that's all I have in here. Yeah. The other pens, like this, this pen and the Smashbook pen, I usually use for um, my personal journal. And then these are some color. Yeah. Color. I can't say it. <laughs> color. I can't, I'm tongue tied. You know, this type of pen. I thought one time I was going to try to do some proper hand lettering, but it doesn't, doesn't work for me. So, Posca pens. Posca pens are, they are expensive, but they are, are really good pens. But I found an alternative to Posca pens, and that is these from Artistro. I started out, I bought the, um, Try not to make too much noise. Um, these first, the little, I think it's a extra fine point first, and then I purchased the medium point. So these work just like these. You have to shake it and you have to um, press it down so the ink will flow. And they, they have been really good. I haven't used these a ton. I've used these more than I've used these. You saw me use these on the I think the last uh yeah I think the last um magazine makeover I did with the woman with the head wrap I used these so um these are I've had these for so long I don't use these anymore because they're not really opaque um the Faber Castell pit artist pen in white and I don't really use those Everything else is Posca and Artistro is what I, I just have them in here because it was in my pen bag. So, uh, those are all the pens I use. And I showed you the glue. There's no other materials that I use. Um, every now and then, I will use um, this to maybe tear a page. But usually, I try to glue the page down before you guys see it because I'm like that takes me way too long sometimes to just glue the page down because sometimes I'm gluing it crooked because I'm trying to rush but um so I usually glue it down before you guys see it so let me see I think I, we can talk a little bit about some of the images that I've pulled in here and why I pulled them so I'll try to okay so I didn't really pull this one but this one when I was showing you it kind of oh it's a tear in her forehead maybe that's why I didn't use it but I can always cover that with something now her face is what attracts me um she just looks like she is like stressed like she's had enough type <laughs> look on her face I shouldn't laugh that's not funny but that's that's what I see when I look at her face like she's like this has been some day, you know, so I will go on Pinterest and whatever I'm thinking, like I will say, um, uh, bad day quote or, um, I've had enough quote or something like that. I will, I will put into Pinterest, um, most of the time it's Pinterest. Um, and I'll see what I come up with, see what I think goes with her and, that's the quote type of quote I will use. Um, I'm not sure why I picked her, <laughs> to be honest. I probably was going to collage like some flowers or something on her hair. Because um, her hair is so thin and fine. And this is obvious, I think, because it's New York and it's the background. So, and it's foggy and I just like, yeah, I'll find something to do with that. This one, another one, is like... Like, I had a hard day type look on her face. Like, I just can't. I just need a minute to breathe. So, I will probably look for, like, um, just breathe quote or um, I had a hard day quote or I need a minute 
cold, something like that. So I hope this is making sense, you guys, because sometimes I don't know. This, I have a no clue. Well, she looks like she's up to no good, <laughs> but her whole style just attracted me. So I don't really know what I would do with her because um, she looks so made up already, but I'll, I'll hold on to it. This, I just like the two-tone, but I haven't figured out what I would do with this yet. So there's a couple, this is an ad. So there's a couple of them like this with the two-tone black and the color. See, like this. Haven't figured out what I would do with them yet, but I, I felt like I needed to. And she's just, the big hair is what got me. I'm like, what can I do with that hair? I mean, clearly I can work with the white pen in that hair, but. I haven't figured out exactly like how she speaks to me in a quote yet. So, um, and this is just an empty space that I thought I can put a lady in and figure out something for that. Um, this one, not sure if I would use, but I like the fact that how she's standing with her head down, like she's just happy to be home because her day was a hot mess. That's what, that's what I get from it. And I don't know about her. Um, I think it's just the same girl with the, the hair. I think that's what just attracts me. Look, it's a bunch of them with her hair. These two elderly ladies, they are fabulous, especially her. I don't know what I would do with her. I would probably find some type of quote, but I wouldn't probably alter her any. I would just put a quote because she's just way too fabulous and I just... I can't mess with her because she's just, she's just laying, you know, she's in her little Sunday best and she's just chilling. So I wouldn't mess with her. I wouldn't mess with her. Um, something about this being blurred and her looking up at this waterfall um, is what attracts me. And I don't know what I would exactly, I would put some type of quote, obviously. I just have to figure the right quote. I have to really study this page and see what it's really saying to me. But I, I love it. I love this whole thing. And I'm, I really, really love black and white images. In case you haven't noticed, I use a lot of black and white images. She just looks so fabulous to me. I just love it. I love the um, peeling of the paint. And I don't know what I would do with it, but I just think she's just fabulous. So if nothing else, I just like looking at it. And I just love the background because I think it's the same. I think it's the ad for her in here. So, and you guys, um, I can't remember her name, but she's from, um, you know, Face Motel and all that kind of stuff. And she, there's a lot of pictures of her like this. So, I know I would put some fabulous, like, quote here. I could just see me writing something, but I haven't quite figured out what yet. See that one too. She's great here, but I like the black and white. So I haven't figured that out yet. This one, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just pulled it just because. And these, I just pulled. I don't think I pulled them from no reason. They probably, I mean, I've just probably pulled it to get to another page. This, I obviously love the background. So um, that's what I'll use this for. <laughs> How could you not like the expression on her face? She's just look pissed off. Excuse my language, but that's what she does. She looks pissed off. And I will find the perfect quote for her um, eventually. I love her outfit. I just see my hand lettering in her little dress here. Just haven't figured it out. And, you know, the usual with the hair and maybe some type of I don't know. I, I would maybe if I can't fit the quote here, which I would love to fit the quote here because I really like writing on clothing for some reason. Um, yeah, I'll probably do that on that one. And this is just an old glam, the Hollywood glam photo. And I just have to find the right quote for this. I probably wouldn't alter her too much, but yeah. Quote definitely in the clothes where that shadow is. I love that. So, 
I'll probably do a couple of more because I think this video is getting, I think you kind of get the idea, but we will, I will do a whole video of me actually going through the pages and telling you why I pulled it. But since I already had these out, I thought I would, um, I haven't looked through these in so long and some of them are kind of sparking a little something. So you may see a video soon. I don't know why I haven't gone through this. I probably forgot about it. Um, her, I like. I like her hair and I like that it's black and white and it's very simple so I feel like I can maybe do something with her. Um, again, I would probably write here because it's not a lot of room around here. I would probably write, try to write the quote here or even on her bare um, skin because I've done that before and I really like that too. So I might do that since depending on how large the quote is that I have I would write on her bare skin and maybe alter this doodle on it or something and again I just like the way she looks I don't know if I would do anything with her but I just like the way she looks that's the same girl this I didn't pull this is still attached to a magazine so I didn't pull her um let me see if there's anything else let me just flip because I think all of these are none that I pulled so um, it's a lot of pages in here that's, <sighs> that I didn't pull at all. I don't think there's anything else. Now this, this, oh my gosh, I would love to do something with him. <laughs> Willem Dafoe, I love him. His face, something about his face. I just love his face. Not love like, you know, I love Denzel's face, but I don't know. Something about his face. I just love his face. But yeah, I would definitely put some kind of quote right all on his, his uh, suit jacket here. And I love the smoke. I probably wouldn't even alter. Maybe maybe a little white pen in his hair, but I wouldn't touch his face because I love his face. <laughs> I love his face. Oh, Regina King. I love her hat. Oh, See, that would be it. That's probably why I never touched this page. Because I love her hat. And I love his face. So I don't know. I don't know. That's the dilemma. Now this, obviously, I love this outfit. And I would put some type of quote in this outfit. But I have to find something that, to me, makes sense. You can't just put some random quote here. It has to be something that makes sense with the picture. So sometimes I have to really study a picture to pick a quote and that's why sometimes I kind of get stuck with some of these images because I like the image but I don't know what quote I would go would go with it and I think that's yeah I think that's pretty much it for right now but if you have any more questions please feel free to ask um like I said I am going to do a video actually going through the magazine and telling you if I pulled something, telling you why I pulled it, and what type of quote I would look for, that type of thing. So I hope that answers um, the question of a couple of people who asked about this. Um, hopefully that'll help you a little bit. Um, and we'll continue on and do a magazine harvest when I get some more magazines. All right, you guys. So thank you so much. Please keep the feedback coming. I'm loving it. I'm taking notes. I'm really going to try my best to um, get videos out more often. I don't know about lives, you guys, because the lives not seem to be working for me lately. <laughs> so, but I'll try again. All right, you guys. Thank you so much and have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Be safe. Bye.